Welcome to this RMS video where we'll be showing you about the various notifications that you will receive when using RMS. So right from the beginning we can see at the top right hand side of the screen we have reminders, warnings, alarms and errors. So currently there are zero reminders, zero warnings, zero alarms and zero errors. If we also look here in the tree we can see that the various points are green. This is also valid within the various measurement points where the points are green. In order to generate an alarm, I will blow onto the relative humidity logger. And I will also go to the table so we can see when the device will be refreshed. The devices are set to refresh every minute, so we'll wait until the minute is over. So straight away, a minute is over, and we can see that we now have an alarm. We can see here we have one warning and one alarm. The warning is not visible here on the screen because the warning is stronger. The, the alarm is stronger than the warning. If we go onto the chart, we can see exactly what is happening. So here we blew onto the sensor, which means the humidity went up, and I have various possibilities. I can either click on the red dot here and I can inhibit the alarm or I can go directly onto this link here that will send me to the event file. And then under the event file I see all of the alarms. I can see the alarms that are acknowledged, I can see the alarms that are as well finished. This current alarm, if I click on the button, I have then the possibility to add information so I can acknowledge the alarm, I can close the alarm and I can inhibit the alarm. If I inhibit the alarm I have to input a message so test and I have to input a time span so if I put 10 minutes and I click on OK we'll see directly that there has been an acknowledgement. James has inhibited the alarm. There is a tick to say that I've acknowledged it and as it is inhibited there is now a circle in the circle. If we go back to the chart overview we'll see that we have exactly the same information here with the circle in the circle. So that was a quick overview for the warning and for the alarms. If I go into table and now I will remove the probe from the data logger. The probe is now removed from the data logger, meaning that there is no measurement data. And it now, after one minute, so once the device has refreshed, we will see an error occur saying that there is a sensor error. So we'll have to wait now for another, let's say, 40 seconds. seconds only 10 more seconds to go we can now see that we have two additional errors so one error is sensor error for the measurement point 3180 and one is the sensor error for the 3179 I click on my error, then automatically the error is selected within the events chart and I can see exactly what is happening. I can go on to the event and I can acknowledge 
and simply say that probe was removed. Click on OK. I go back into my other error. I acknowledge as well. I can say up probe was removed and click on OK. I will then now add the probe back on to the data level. And now heading back into the table. Already it has refreshed. There is no longer any more errors. There is just the alarm and the warning that we previously had. If I look on the chart, I can see here as well on the right hand side of the screen that we're still in alarm mode. If I go into events and select error, alarm and warnings, I can see, especially if I click on finished as well, I can see the overview of all of the different warnings, alarms and errors that have occurred in the system. I can then see what is acknowledged and what is not. Thank you very much for watching the film.